I was watching a video here recently on YouTube and it was a guy proposing to his girlfriend live on air and she was uh, she was in a TV studio presenting the weather and oh, all right it was quite emotional it was quite touching but he seemed so sure of himself he seemed so cocksure and as we're approaching Christmas it it got me to thinking I'm not doing an article in this uh, I actually have an article in front of me which I may cover a little bit I'm hoping not to and uh, it got me to think thinking about uh, Charles Dickens A Christmas Carol where Scrooge is confronted with his past through I think it's what it was a the ghost of Christmas past and I was thinking about this guy who was so smug as he got down on one knee that's groveling he got down on one knee groveled he had this ring it, it I don't know anything about jewelry but it looked pretty bloody expensive to me and you try and buy a girl uh, a, a ring with fake jewelry these days and you're going to be out on your ear so it looked, looked to me like unless he was some kind of multi-millionaire I don't know what he did for a living that that's a hell of a lot of money so he pays two or three of months of his wages then he grovels around on his knee and it, I thought about the Godfather where at the, the end when Don Corleone's passed on and he's passed it on to the Godfather ship so to speak on to Mikey and Mikey's taken all the kisses on his pinky ring from all the other concierges or whatever the heck they're called and they're giving him praise and Godfather Godfather yeah imagine guys behaving to you like that I mean how, how much would you respect them and if they got on one knee like this this guy did how much would you respect them and I thought of the the ghost not so much the ghost of Christmas past for this guy if I could take the situation over but the ghost of her sexual past because I I'd never get tired of talking about this particular survey I saw uh, I don't know it's probably probably about a year ago of New York City women and they fucked about 30 men by the age of 25 but I've seen other surveys which show that women lie so much about the number of partners that they have uh, women tend to uh, willfully underestimate their, the number of partners they've had men do the opposite thing and it's been proven in tests that you can ask them up front uh, well how many men have you fucked women and how many women have you fucked men I'm talking about heterosexual things here and when you then put them on uh, a poly polygraph and they did this survey when they they said well you're going to be on a polygraph now but they didn't even plug it in and the men changed their tune so did the women and Kel surprise the men and the women had fucked about the same number of partners I don't remember the number of partners but um, 30 men by the age of 25 and you consider that most women these these days don't start looking for serious relationships until they're almost 30 how many men have they fucked since then and when they're such liars in the first place you're talking 50 to 100 fucking men now if you're an average guy which guys are if no matter who you are you're average you're average uh, why am I trying to explain this you have an average size cock let's say you have a huge cock then maybe you're of average height but you balance it all out you're going you're always going to be average and if they fucked all these guys then they've had more than the average size cock they've had a huge cock uh, a guy who's who go at it for I don't know two or three fucking hours uh, without repeating himself they've had the average everything in other words if you put those all into a compilation of guys they fuck so many men how the fuck if you're an average guy and you're honest with yourself and you accept that that's what you are how can you compete with her fucks of her past and I don't care how unfair it seems but women do tend to take a different attitude to men who fuck loads of women they they regard them just as men do as studs and I don't care how unfair it sounds but when everyone knows that a woman just goes with every man in the on the block or, or in the town they regard her as a slut 
And I'm pretty sure that it would be completely different if you took a, a, a woman who the guy's just groveled around on his knees, uh, presented her with the ring. If you, if you took her aside and said, oh, okay, I'm going to take you into his past and show you his sexual con conquests, she would nowhere near as give a fuck about that as if you took one of these clowns, these submissive, groveling fucking males, and you suddenly showed them their, their past, their sexuality. I mean, where do you begin? Oh, here she is when she's sweet 15, losing her virginity to the, the quarter half or the, or the quarter back. Um, I don't know rugby positions, but they're pretty similar to US football. I mean, all the cheerleaders, all the girls, they go for the quarterback. I do know that. So, yeah, here she is losing her virginity to the quarterback. And he's fucked loads of fucking girls. He gives her an STD. And there he is breaking her in when she's young. Do you like looking at that, guys? Really? Do you want to see that? Because I don't think so. And then you go on and you, you, you rub... Rub the fucker's nose in it even more is what I'd I'd love to do. So here, here she is having a threesome. And the, the guy's like, uh, the guy who wants to marry is saying, oh my God, she has a, had a, a threesome? No, 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 no. This is her first threesome. Look at her. Look at the bitch. Look at her on her fucking hands and knees like a hoe. Oh my God. She's got one cock in her mouth and another in her pussy. That cock isn't in her pussy. Take a closer look, asshole. Pun intended. Oh my god, well, if I ever see those guys, I'll, I'll rip their fucking lungs out. You will see them. You'll see them at the fucking wedding. Those are her kid brothers, you dumbass. Oh, here she goes again. She's, uh, this is in a different fa phase that she had. She was into older men. Look at her fucking this guy. Oh my God, he's old enough to be a father. He is a fucking father. But you don't need to. You don't need to worry about him turning up to your wedding. He died last year. Well, thank fuck for that. Yeah, he died of the STD the bitch gave him, and you're gonna be next, you dumb fucker. I mean, I I would so love to just. Drag these guys who get on the knee with the, the expensive ring and make them realise what fucking sluts most females are these days. And loads of them aren't. I mean, that has to be said. But I, I'm not going to say the area that I'm from, but believe me, I have seen some fucking things. I've seen girls go through 10 men in one night and then they had end up with some clown who's convinced that they're they're chaste and virginal and that he's the one and that they're I don't get these guys but women are, are very adept they're so manipulative that they usually end up with what they want it's be with MGTOW now it's becoming increasingly uh, difficult but when the guy actually marries her and you know goes up the aisle and signs the document and he's fucked it's it's mostly her she's guessing what she wants and she's calculating and he's too stupid to even realize what he signed into a relationship in which in the event of a divorce and a breakup then he has no chance he loses everything but she gets what she wants which is children uh, her mother gets what she wants which is grandchildren of course his mother gets what she wants and you know, you have those three females and they all know, they all know deep down, they won't, they won't say this up front, but they know that he is in a relationship in which they, the females, are in control. And that is something that, got, you know, men who take the knee and propose, they're getting themselves fucked up and they're so stupid and frankly, it's mostly machismo they're too stupid to recognize the fact that they're going into a relationship in which they have no rights. And uh, any guy listening to this, if you're thinking of that, please think again, because currently, until the divorce system changes, you have no rights. Thank you very much.